All right, guys, starting out the video on my couch in here, just chilling with the dogs. About eight in the morning, waiting on my brother to get here. Uh, he did get his power stroke fixed. If you guys watched the last couple videos, he smoked a deer in it and uh, was able to get it fixed finally. So, um, yeah, it still needs some paint, but we're going to take it uh, over east of Columbus, Ohio. It's a pretty far drive, and we're going to pick up something really cool today. Um, as you guys can tell, I'm super excited, obviously, you know, um, uh, maybe you can't, and that's because every time I buy, I like, make, make like a big purchase or something, I, uh, I just get nervous, man, you know, I, I just get nervous, and I think about what all could go wrong, you know, is, is the trailer not gonna be nice, are we gonna waste our time, you know, are the seller scammers, I just, I get so nervous when I go to buy stuff, private party, and, you know, through dealers as well, but anyways, guys, let's hop in the truck with him whenever he gets here, and we will go pick up this thing. All right, guys, a quick fuel stop before we get to our location. Of course, Bailey has this Titan fuel tank crap going on, so it takes like $600,000 to fill it up. But here's what she looks like, guys, with the blue fender. You guys have watched the last video where he hit a deer, smoked it, he got everything fixed on it, minus the hood and the fender being painted, and then he's gonna obviously get another grill. He doesn't like that grill, it looks cheap. But uh, we're getting some fuel. Is that all I got with 70? I could have sworn I told her 75, oh well. We will get over here to where we're getting and get going home. Let's get a snack, snack update on Bailey, see what he got. What kind of snacks did you grab? Two pieces of pizza. Mm, I don't know. That might be too much for me right now. Big snack guy. But we are right around the corner, guys, from this, um, this house that we're going to be picking up this trailer at. So let's get over there. All right, guys, we made it here to get the trailer. We are going to go ahead and take it. So we got to go to her bank, pay her loan off and then we will come back, pick it up. Also have some wheels and tires that they're gonna give us with it. So go get this guy paid off, get her some money and get back and we will head home. There it is, show you guys some more when we make our next stop. All right, guys, made it back. Well, we made it to Bailey's house and we had to load up the white 12 F350 on the trailer just to see how it loads with the drive over fenders. And with the 14 wide, you can just straddle both of them. Look how much room you have at the front. If you really wanted to, you could back up, put a whole nother car on there. And you really could. So, pretty interesting. Barely you can fit them. <clears throat> Keep coming. Whoa, that is absolutely it. It's touching now. <laughs> there. I don't know, a car might fit on there. We're just seeing if we can fit two cars on it, just for fun. Man, got the old Ford squatted down, boy. Squatted down. Fun things to do. Like you get like a new truck or a new four wheeler, like man, I wanna go ride it. You get a new trailer, you just wanna load stuff on it. I don't know, man. So the only way that it would fit a truck and a car was if we put the car on the front because we just tried it and the, the rear tire was like right here. So the only way you'd be able to put a car and a truck on it was if you put the car on first and then the truck 
the ass end of it could hang over the back. You could just have the back tires literally right on the edge, and then you'd be able to put a car and a truck on it. So, I mean, that is nice. If you absolutely needed to, you could put two vehicles on it, but now I'm gonna try and watch him back this off without scraping the wheels. All right, guys, we made it back with the new trailer. They just got it unloaded or unhooked. So I'll give you guys kind of a walkthrough of the older one we have been using for, I don't know how long have you had this trailer? Three years. Three years. And uh, it's a little bit of an upgrade. This one is definitely a cheaper brand and we've already been able to see that a couple different ways. But I don't know, just one of the things we noticed guys when we were towing home, um, and I don't know if it's because it's such a long trailer and the diameter from there to there is longer, but the whole frame of it will kind of have some flex. Once we put a truck on it, it was fine. And once it's sitting here, it's nice and solid, but it just has a lot more flex than old iron, iron eyed here. This old girl, this thing's rock solid and it's just been a lot of places. Unfortunately, it's just a little short and uh, it's time for a little upgrade. So this thing should do us good. I am going to stain this wood. The previous owners never did anything with it. So we're gonna either take some stain or some used motor oil and get this thing all coated. It does already have a winch on it. It's got 12,000 pound with a synthetic rope and it came with a new tire and there's the spare that should be mounted up here. But overall, it's not a bad unit. I can't wait to get to the red truck and see how it pulls. And they already had these uh, little racks here installed. These would not have came on it. So these are aftermarket that the previous people put on, previous owners. Need the hubs feel real hot or anything. Feel good. Is it? No. It's a trailer, guys. And it does pull. There you guys have it. New 2022 load trail buggy hauler. Guys, it's a couple days later now, but I had to hook up to the red truck just to see how this thing tows it. And the trailer brake controller is all functional. Stops pretty good. Takes off fine. Um, mirrors don't really work the best. The seat to the back of this thing. I mean, this trailer is longer than any other gooseneck I've ever had. So, I mean, you really, really got to cut that thing wide to get it to turn. The wheels are really, really far back. Even on campers and stuff, you know, your axles are usually probably a couple feet farther forward. But with that, that long stretch right there, that is what makes that turn ridiculous. So uh, I did have to adjust the neck, but she is sitting perfectly level. Red truck just needs some airbags and this thing will be ready to go pretty much anywhere. So all the lights and everything are working. Um, still waiting on the old owner to mail me the winch remotes. So we don't have those yet, but other than that guys, everything is working great. So yeah, red truck is working out. All right guys, like I said, trailer brakes definitely are needed on something this big with this little of a wheelbase truck i think the wheelbase it's really not super duper stable it doesn't feel that way but it feels all right i mean it is what it is I really need a crew cab long to feel good with this trailer but i'm gonna show you guys taking off here kick her down oh we're just gonna spin gosh it's so annoying for you guys i just like to brag on this trans that we just did like a quick little refresh on it's just amazing a little cheapo converter cheapo rebuild kit i think shit's awesome this thing just she'll just go but it's stopping man i want to upgrade the brakes do some airbags on it i mean if i'm going to keep this thing and, and use it for my tow rig you know being tool dry doesn't help so it at least needs to handle good some people will argue though some people like the two-wheel drive I'd rather have a two-wheel drive. I personally, to damn near, couldn't hardly get this thing out of my backyard, so I like to have four-wheel drive. Pretty much going to wrap up the end of the video as far as uh, the new trailer. Um, anyways, uh, it definitely needed to happen. I feel like the old trailer was needing a lot of maintenance, and realistically, it just wasn't really enough to, um, like some of the crew cab long beds you would try and put on it, would basically, you'd have to like strap the ramps up. It just needed to be a little bit longer. 
and we really wanted to do drive over fenders for the fact that uh, they tow better. Um, I think they, they, you know, you're, you're keeping the vehicle, you know, almost a foot lower off the ground. They handle better. The drive over fenders are awesome. And uh, we were able to get it in 32 foot long. So that's, that's better than a 30 uh, plus or a 25 plus five. The one we have, uh, Bailey's trailer is 20, 25, 20. Wow. It's a 20 plus five. And um, I was looking at getting a 25 plus five, which would make it 30 foot. But then you still wouldn't be able to put two vehicles on it. That trailer, you can put two uh, regular cab diesels on it. You can probably put, you know, a crew cab, uh, crew cab long and a, and uh, one regular cab, maybe. Um, you could definitely do a car and a truck. You could do a truck and, and a golf cart. And it's just it's just gonna be the best trailer for what we need. And it's it's brand new, so um, well, it's basically brand new. So it's got good brakes and everything, good tires. And it's just a good, good pulling trailer. So uh, yeah, uh, wrapping up the end of this video, guys. Getting started on this LML. We are doing some head gaskets on this guy. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's gonna wrap up the end of this video. Be sure you guys like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the new trailer, and we'll see you guys on the next one. See you later.